In this lesson, we will practice with Cisco switch to see how it builds MAC address table. This is a network that we will use in this lesson. For your convenience, you may want to draw or print it out so that you can take note the MAC address of each device that we'll find out in the next steps. Now, let's view the current MAC address table of Cisco Skill Switch 1 and also Cisco Skill Switch 2. In order to view the list of MAC addresses that a Cisco switch learn in a network, at the privilege mode, we need to issue the command show MAC address dash table. To view only the learned MAC addresses, we need to include the keyword dynamic, then hit enter. Let's do it in switch one. Here we are in the privilege mode of switch one and we need to issue the command show mac address dash table and include the keyword dynamic then hit enter. As you can see here is the current content of Cisco switch one and there's only one entry in the mac address table that the switch learned and here is the MAC address and the type is dynamic which means that the switch learned this MAC address and it learned from the port Ethernet 01 in VLAN 1. Let's now do it in switch 2 and we need to issue the same command show MAC address dash table dynamic and then hit enter. As you can see, here is the current content of the MAC address table in switch 2. And there's only one entry for this MAC address and the type is dynamic, which means the switch 2 learns this MAC address from the port Ethernet 02 in VLAN 1. Let's get back to our network from the content of the MAC address table in Cisco Skill Switch 1, we know that the MAC address is learned from the port Ethernet 01. So the MAC address must come from this portion of the network. However, we also know that there have not any activities in the network. So Switch one must have learned the MAC address from the port E02 on switch two. Similarly, from the current content of the MAC address table on Cisco skill switch two, the MAC address is learned from the port E02. So the MAC address must come from this portion of the network. So Swiss 2 must have learned the MAC address from the port E01 on switch 1. Let's verify that. In order to view the MAC address on an interface of a switch, at the privilege mode, we need to issue the command show interface and then specifies the name of the interface, then hit enter. Let's do it in switch 2. We are at the privilege mode, so we need to issue the command show interface Ethernet 02. And here is the MAC address of the interface Ethernet 02 in Switch 2. Let's verify the MAC address of the interface E01 in Switch 1. Here we are in the privilege mode of switch one. Let's do the command show interface E01 and hit enter. And as you can see, this is the MAC address of the interface Ethernet 01 in switch one. Now you can get back to the content of the MAC address table in switch one and switch two to verify. Now, Let's verify the MAC address of PC4 and PC1. Then from PC1, 
we ping PC4. Finally, check the MAC address table of switch 1 and switch 2. Now, let's verify the MAC address of PC4 in GNS3. The command to view the current IP and MAC address on a PC in GNS3 is show IP, then hit enter. Let's do it in PC4. Let's issue the command show IP. As you can see, this is a MAC address of PC4. Let's view the MAC address of PC1 in GNS3, then ping PC4. In GNS3, in order to ping PC4, we need to issue the command ping and the IP address of PC4, it is 10.0.0.21, then hit enter. Let's do it in PC1. As you can see, we have already done the show IP in PC1 to view the MAC address. And here is the MAC address of PC1. Now let's ping PC4. We need to issue the command ping 10.0.0.21 and hit enter. We get the reply back from PC4. So it tells us that the package travel from PC1 to PC4 and from PC4 back to PC1. So the two switches have to learn the MAC address of both PC1 and PC4 and put them in the MAC address tables. Let's find out. Let's view the current MAC address table in switch1. Since we have already issued the command, we just need to press the up arrow button to get to the command. And here is the current MAC address table in switch1. As you can see, here is the MAC address of PC1 and it's learned via the port is 10. And here is the MAC address of PC4 and it's learned via the port E01. And here is the current MAC address in Swiss 2. As you can see, this is a MAC address of PC1 and it's learned via the port E02 and this is the MAC address of PC4 and it's learned via the port E21. That is, that is how a switch builds its MAC address table by learning the source MAC address of any incoming frame. If it is a new address, the switch will add it into the MAC address table for future forwarding decision. For example, in the future, if the switch have to forward the frame that has the destination MAC address of PC1, it will forward to the port E02.